Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock 2, the Minerva's Den DLC. We're still in the airtight archives ready to just leave, but apparently there's somebody very interesting over here. Oh god. There we go. Cunt? Are you seriously calling me a cunt? Ow. That is me, buddy. Let's just use the laser beams. See ya. Okay, that was an interesting start to an episode. Immediately getting attacked by a fiery brute splicer. Because yeah, they come in uh, in all sorts of uh, shapes and sizes. Did we ever? Yeah, we did go over here. Why is the music still going? He's dead. Take it easy. Easy. Are there more? Yep, there's more. Okay, I'm leaving. They took out the camera. Shit. Ow. Jesus Christ. That one's down. Oh, I'm not going to catch that in time. And down he goes. Okay. So that was why the music was still going. Not because I finished everything. It's just because everything was going to come worse than uh, it was before. Okay. Let's just try to leave this area quietly. Without any more... Fiery brute spices trying to tear my face off. Delicate like a curious. Okay, so there's a big daddy. I still need to gather two more corpses. There we go. So this is one. And that's where we need to go to operations. Um but I think there is one other mag locked area that we could go to and I think it's in the office the offices are up here probably so give me a second there we go so in the office there is uh, a mag locked room that we never checked out so let's go with gravity well and show you the first demonstration of it so let's toss it up above and then it turns into a black hole sucking everything and everyone into its center what the hell was that? So that opens up the door. I'm gonna have to be careful because I know there's a, quite a few things in here. Just quickly gonna check the cabinets for anything useful because we're still playing on hard of course so that might be a problem. Here we go. Attracting the looters. Porter, it has come to my attention that a certain prominent bronze figure has been installed in Minerva's den. An original cast from the mold, no less. Such indulgence leaves a trail. If that costly little souvenir brings the looters sniffing to my door, and I am forced to gun them down, it will be at your feet that I lay the blame. So, um, Andrew Ryan is talking about the Rodin statue at the beginning of uh, Minerva's Den at the entrance. That is, of course, a cost from the original, apparently. So, and that's why he fears that, well, looters might come to uh, Minerva's Den and try to steal the entire, entire statue. We don't really know how they would do that, but of course, with plasmids, the, uh, the options are immense. So, $75 heat-seeking rockets. We didn't have those because we don't have a grenade launcher yet, weirdly enough. So, maybe we can find one over here. Rapture Central Compute. Ooh, another Adam Slug. There we go. More Adam for me, because we should actually pay a visit to another Gatherer's Garden. What was that? No, honey, it's the still working Design. on that. Yeah, bye. It's dancing, Daddy. Dancing. It is, little sister. It is really, really dancing. 
Uh, so let's reload that again. Spears are still the best option in this DLC, especially headshots. And I don't even have the headhunter tonic yet, I think. Or I might have, don't really remember. Okay. I'm gonna have to use the, the drill for that. There we go. Unusable for anybody else now. Let's open everything up. And I think there's still something else around here. Ooh, there's at least a camera. Can I hack this without? Yeah, I can. Ding! There we go. Oh, and the bolt shutdown panel is right underneath it. That is very interesting. Another auto hack dart. Mini turret. Ooh, and there we go, the grenade launcher. With the heat seeking rockets aplenty. And I cannot carry them already. You cannot, nobody tell you. Adam. Okay. Your possessions define you. Don't they deserve to be protected? Your tight archives offer the most secure. Why is there you can make? Remember it's a weird bug that I see my own hand above me every time that happens. Goodbye. So the laser beams are really good on uh, brute splice. I could have used the heat seeking rockets, especially because those uh, fiery brute splices already are on fire, obviously. So that's why I could uh, just fire a rocket in their face. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. So there we go, another room cleared. And then we uh, we are able to enter operation. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a second. And while we're at the Gatherer's Garden, I'm gonna just see if I can't buy anything interesting. Uh, maybe upgrade telekinesis, because I have the tonics I want at the moment. Hmm, could go for a health upgrade as well. You know what, Telekinesis 2 might be handy, we've seen the movie for that. And then we have enough to just go for an Eve and a health upgrade. And there we go. And now we still have to do two more gathers, so that would be... Uh, hi? Hi, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Is there a corpse over here somewhere? No, there isn't. So I need to just use the corpse in the center here, which is a bit annoying. Because there's a lot of angles that they can come from. There we go, I set up another mini turret and a lot of extra trap rivets. I'm just gonna put myself up here. And that seems to be a nice vantage position. To just fire away at everything that tries to kill my little sister. Okay. Where is he? I'm actually rather exposed here as well, so it might not be the best option. I hear another spider splicer. Where is he? Oh, I jumped over your head, buddy. Come on, there's a gas canister over there. Come on, die, 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 die. There we go. Just gonna pick her up. Because I'm invulnerable. Invulnerable at that time. There we go. Gas canister. Where's that spider splicer? Is he stuck in the ceiling somewhere? Oh, there he is. Holy hell, that is creepy. That was creepy as fuck. Okay, that, that was the spider splicer stuck in the ceiling there. So that was one gather. I'm still wondering where the last one is. Might be in operations itself. I'm just gonna buy a few more health kits. So now. Gravity well over the Open wall. Over, friend. Once you, you toss that gravity well over the divider, the suction will do the rest. Why is there a divider? Bingo, that's the way. We're one step closer to getting the thinker's blueprint out of rapture. Gonna leave with your little sister to find the vent Head and down deal the with lift it. operations. Yeah. 
That one, that's what I thought. There's still one corpse I need to do, so... Uh, okay, that sounded really dirty. There's still one corse, corpse I need to drain from uh, the Adam from, so I'm just gonna have to search for that, and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, there's another uh, vacuum bolt in the... Uh, the separated section where we uh, found, uh, first used the gravity well. So there we go, Drill Lurker. Um, can't really use that right now. No. I'm not going to use my drill uh, a lot anymore. And then the vacuum bolt problems. Maurice, I need a new pair of shoes ordered and sent to the Numo in my office immediately. The vacuum bot ate one of mine. Size 7. Alligator. Heels. There we go, the vacuum bolts were, uh, well, always sucking up everything in this place. Uh, I know there's one more gatherer, gatherer corpse down here, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, nope, 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 still going the wrong direction. It's over here on the left, right next to that uh, maglocked room, over there in the corner down below. Kind of missed that one, but uh, I'll make that up to you guys. So uh, let's go and kill ourselves some splicers. There we go, and let's just do this. I'm just gonna do this. I'd actually hide in this room. And, hmm, do I have anything left? Doesn't really seem like I have anything left, so let's just shotgun our way through this and use gravity well while we're at it. The Raptor central computing mainframe performs over one million calculations per second. Couldn't your business benefit from that kind of power? Contact a corporate accounts representative today. Raptor central computing in your Raptor directory. Nobody hurt my daddy. There we go, spider splicer down. Just gonna try and get the uh, keep uh, gravity well active on her. There we go. Oh, that's. All you fucking see. Ow. Ow. Fuck off. Jesus. That was a lot of heavy duty enemies right there. Are you ready? Yep, let's pick her up. Yes, I am a nicer than other daddies. God damn it, what was all that? There we go, a nice little sister vent to drop her off. Let's rescue her and that should net us a reward already, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Because I think this is our third little sister. Yeah, exercise three gatherers and we should get a reward at the gatherers garden. So let's go towards that. Oh yeah, right, I forgot about that. God damn it. God damn it. Big sister. Big sister, there's a... Um there's a shop over here on the left, right? Yeah, gonna need that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna have to be enough. Ooh, I completely forgot about Big Sister. Um, don't have heavy rivets. I have burst cell, shotguns, shells, heat-seeking rockets. Long corridor. She's gonna be behind me. There we go. And then a few rocket spears. Oh, that was it, apparently. That was. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where the hell are you coming from? You just there to heal her? Uh. Uh, it's still loading. There we go. Oh, where is she going? That's not good. Jesus. Stay over here for the Adam 2 health kits and a bunch of money. I would 
go, I could go and get that other heat seeking rock. It might not be such a bad idea, so give me a second. So there we go, another gift. Congratulations, you have found your first reward from the little ones. Thank you, little girl. Thank you. Bye. Let's see what's in it. Proud Parent, $38 and 100 Adam. Of course, we're going to use Proud Parent. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it right here. And then we're going to purchase another gene tonic slot. There we go. Put careful hacker in there because we need the hacking. Um, and then I'm going to upgrade both Electro Bolt. Yeah, both, oh, both Electro Bolt. Thank you. And maybe already Insect Swarm? I'm not really sure. Let's hold off on that because we just need to move, make our way through... Uh, goodbye. Make our way through um, operations. And I think that's just the elevator at this time because we did all the little sisters. Where the hell did you come from? That's the, still the, the one annoying thing I hate about Bioshock. Enemies keep respawning every single time you return to another... To an area you just left, there's another uh, splicer walking around there. Wow, great textures there. Two operations. Here we go. On to the next level, login. So that means we completed Minerva's Den. Well, the Minerva's Den part of the DLC Minerva's Den, because now we're going to go to operations. Operations. You're nearing the heart of the machine. Indeed, Rapture Central Computing. We're really close now. What is that? It looks like the receptionist is uh, quite dead. Den, I you that the operations wing of Rapture Central Computing is strictly off limits. Where is there? Ah, oh, there's another. On the other side, it looked like it wasn't in a jar, but that was a bit weird. So another atom slug for us, and now we're in the the main part of uh, operations. So Ra Rapture Central Computing. Minerva's Den is just the front of, uh, well, the central computing part of Rapture. And this is getting really close to the center of it. Traitor. Sigma, you show such loyalty to a proven traitor. What is Porter to you? A convenient excuse to disrupt my work? Or something more? I am curious, I must admit. But not enough to let you live. Ooh, that sounds ominous. So yeah, we're gonna get uh, attacked here any second now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's drop down. There we go. Oh, shit balls. When this happens, I usually like to run around because that keeps me active and the enemies on their toes. There we go. Just gonna try and loop around here. Because I think that's a Houdini splicer with uh, damn it, with a bolt, which is really, really annoying. Where is he or she? There we go. Since I didn't damage the bolts, I've got a bathosphere at my lab that should be able to get us the hell out of Rapture, but we can't launch just yet. First. We'll need to reprogram a signal beacon. That nutcase lamb's got the city on lockdown, but a hacked beacon should keep her torpedoes at bay. See what you can find. So there we go. This also confirms that this runs parallel to Bioshock 2 itself, because the lamb still has the city on lockdown, lockdown and of course we uh, take care of that by the end of Bioshock 2. But uh, this is running parallel to that. But uh, let's listen to a partnership with Porter. After some searching, I made contact with Charles Milton Porter in Minerva's Den. A productive exchange. Clearly, Rapture is no place to continue my research. But Porter says that if he can find a way to return to the surface along with the programming for his mainframe, we could then rebuild the machine and work together towards the cure. I have located an Alpha series to assist him, Subject Sigma. I must return to the surface. If Sigma is successful in Minerva's den, then the cure for Adam's curse is on its way. It is only a matter of time. So I think this actually takes place... Well, it's concurrent with Bioshock 2, so that confirms that Tannenbaum 
returned to Rapture already after she left the first time, but now she wants to leave again because she found uh, a way to cure the the uh, Adam sickness, uh, which of course is what the uh, little sisters are afflicted with as well. And if she can take Porter and the Tinker with her, that would be uh, a great way to cure all the little sisters she took with her in the first place. So there we go, purchase some gene, I think there are a few new things here. Cyclone trap might actually be nice if I want to put some extra Adam in there, but I think I'm just going to go for, uh, oh there we go, Headhunter. That is something I really really want. Yeah, let's just go for Headhunter and put that instead of Eve Link. And then we have, hmm, I think I'm going to go for, uh, for Cyclone trap. Cyclone Trap 1. Let's swap that out with uh, Insect Swarm for now. And I'm just gonna wait for the upgrades. Maybe actually, let's buy another Plasmid slot and put uh, Insect Swarm in there so we have the option to do both if we want to. There we go. But now, let's head. There's three ways in this area as well. So we have Core Access and Climate Control over there. We have the Airlock to the left. And we have programming on the right. I think I'm gonna go to programming first after we uh, hack these shops. Damn it. Hack these shops here. Oh, damn it. I thought, I'm, I thought it was there. Fuck it. Jesus. I thought there was only gonna be three levels, but apparently there were four. Didn't get that in my ass, so... Hmm, maybe some shotgun shells might come in handy. Because it actually does quite a bit of damage in this DLC. So let's go to programming if the door would open. Uh, give the door a little... What the hell was that? Did that corpse just flop down or what the hell? There we go. Let's go in here. And there's another vacuum bolt. Because there's five in uh, the first part. And then uh, five in operations as well. So... Uh, that should allow us to get everything we want. Upgraded rivet gun. There we go. I think that's the capacity upgrade. Because now we have 18 shots instead of 2. Although that might actually be the damage upgrade as well. It's hard to see. Because, well, the subtle in their visual upgrades. And yeah, there's nothing else to check that on if I'm not mistaken. One mind, doing the work of two, ten, with the help of the Tinker, a thousand. The machine spoke, Ryan listened, and finally, I have the Tinker all to myself. Goodbye, old friend. Don't worry. You leave your creation in capable hands. So yeah, I, uh, I have to apologize. Because um, I in the previous episode, or one of the previous episodes, I said that Wall didn't have control of the Tinker, but of course he does. Oh, no. um, okay. Practically down Ooh, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Is he fighting somebody else or not at this moment? Because I think if I just take out the bolt... And then... Uh, shotguns? No, 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 don't leave. Don't leave, goddammit. Can't have him leave, can't have him leave. Where did he go? Shit, that might be a problem. There we go. Let's hack all the cameras while we're at it, because that might help us out. Um. Goodbye, splicer, brute splicer. And then let's hack that turret over here. There we go. Oh, the camera is looking at me, of course. Because this is a really annoying room, because there's a lot of machines in here. And then the bots should try and clean up everything else. Especially with the turret around here. And I think there's one more camera I missed. Ooh, that woman didn't look all that good. Let's hack underneath it. 
And there we go. Okay, so now we have the entire area for ourselves at our disposal. So let's hack this thing, because that means I get... Okay. Ooh, that's going rather fast. An extra health kit before I destroy it completely. There we go. Because they do get stronger as well. The further we go. And you see the enemies are already got their uh, damage boost and their uh, health boost as well. So that's... Uh, Rather annoying. Should I hack this thing? I could. There we go. Can't heal it because I don't have the handyman equipped. I have enough of that. I have could use a few rivets and a bit of laser cells. I don't want to spend all my money just yet. And now, now we can calmly explore this area. Still here a few splices, but they might die in a second if I uh because now that I have headhunter equipped, I might actually be able to kill them even faster than I could before with headshots. So let's go to the left. Over there. Oh, come on. Nope. We can keep the grenade. More cream-filled cookies for me. And then we have another audio diary here. How we met. Continuing input of audio data into the Thinker's database. Subject. Pearl Porter. I want to tell the recorder how we met, Milton. Okay, sure. I was working in my family's diner. School was starting for the fall. And one morning, in walks this college boy. Clean cut. First thing I noticed was his eyes. He sat down and ordered bacon, eggs, and coffee. He was shy, but we talked a little off and on. He came in every single morning for breakfast and ordered the same thing. I told my mama, that boy must really love your cooking. She said, he isn't coming in for the food, honey. He's coming in for you. A year later, we were married. I love that story. It's simple, simple, but very romantic. So, Hardy Machines. A hack turret or bot can be your greatest friend. Make that friendship last longer with the new Hardy Machines tonic. Um, that is an annoying one. Because I want to use that. But I can't really equip it at the moment because I like everything else better. Although, no, I like everything else better. Although Eve Saver, I'm just going to swap it out for Eve Saver for now. Because Hardy Machines at this point in the game might be handier. Because they are that, well, that big of an amount of bots around here. That that would be more efficient to use than uh, anything else. So that's another uh, input video from Porter on uh, the tinker from his wife so this is locked because i think this is the office of reed wall there we go the property of reed walls so let's go to the right side and check that out although there's another room over there but that's we'll check that out in a second because this is a rather large area it seems data processing yeah there we go oh 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 whoa 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 Let's go with the thermal cells. Because that's why walking Inferno is so handy. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Where the hell did she come from? Where the hell did she come from? Let's kill every... Oh, so that's opened that door, so I might as well open it up right now. 20th century blues, I'm just going to cut that off at the moment. Boom. No? Oh. Damn, I need to aim that. What the hell was that? And that personnel rounds. Yay! Let's just ignore the music for now. And check this out. What's because there's a lot of stuff here. Solid slugs, which are really good against uh, people. So that's the anti-personnel rounds for the shotguns. Just gonna have to look around a bit because the uh, gravity well completely fucked over the position of every item here. Uh, that's one of the locks and then the safe. I don't have an auto hack dart anymore, so might as well do it by hand. Oh gold. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy it out. There we go. Whew. Is that something you can do? You can just throw money at a safe and it opens up for some reason. I don't know how that works, but apparently in Rapture it works to just throw some money at something you can hack like this. Laser bolt. Thank you. Oh, thermal cells. 
Thermal cells! Always great. So let's move further and into this area. Going up, and there's a splicer <laughs> screaming out. I think he died. There we go. Don't kill my machi machines, machines. There we go. Oh, that was not in the blue. There we go. There we go. Okay. First aid kits. Felix Baum Burn Bounce Office Key. 262. I might actually have sufficient funds to purchase this item. Sincerely, Brent. So just a bit more money should do the trick. And this is also very interesting. Spitfire. Some of the boys in the code pit whipped up a real doozy of an entertainment. Monitor screen hooked into a sort of tiny airplane cockpit, yeah? And that's swell, because what shows up on screen is an X, that's you, and a bunch of O's, like a Spitfire surrounded by a squadron of Jap Zeros. You fly your little X around and shoot them down one after another. The wall caught us at it one night, called it a waste of time. I don't know, on balance, ain't it better to change what's on the screen than just stare at it? That's an interesting uh, opinion, because that, of course, kind of references the, the evolution of uh, game development at the very, very beginning. But you can actually play Spitfire. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to play some Spitfire. And uh, yeah, if you like the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, thank you guys enormously for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.